Hi friends, welcome to Tech Bytes. Today we are going to discuss about how to solve cannot implicitly convert type into to t or any type, suppose string to t or long to t. In all these situations, we will see how to solve this compile time error. In most of the time, while writing generic methods, there is no need to type cast because generic methods means we will write in a generic way. But in some situations, we may need to return a specific type, integer or string. Now we will see how to solve this issue with a real world example. Just I will write one method, static method, public static and get data and is the T. And now, now suppose I want to return some integer. Just I want to return some 44. Now, if you observe, we have a compile time error. Cannot implicitly convert type into T. In this situation, first we need to check what is the input type. For this, first we need to write if condition if type of T equals to type of int. Okay. First, we will check if the input type is integer, then what we need to return? Return, suppose, uh, then we need to type t and then object of type object. And then we need to return whatever, suppose 44. Okay, now it's if it's integer, just it will just we are type casting and we are returning the integer. In the same way, just I'm copying it. Suppose string. In this situation, just we need to replace with string. And here, just we will return uh, this is string. And in the same way, if it is long, just we can provide long decimal. Any type, any case, just we need to provide what is the type. Then based on that, we will return the output. If nothing, then just we will return uh, default. Default of t. Okay. Now, just I will call this get data in the program. Let's see. Yes, just uh, console. right line and employ dot get data and the type is suppose integer then it should return 44 now this time running it now if you have now it's 44 in the same way suppose we are providing string then it should provide this is string this is string. In this way, you can uh, convert any type into generic type. Okay, friends, today we have learned how to solve cannot implicitly convert type into T. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon. Thank you.